couple I, there. I didn't have traditions. You didn't? I'm traditionless. No, you're not. You've yeah, got, you're, no. Hi. Hi. <laughs> It's, um, this is the Papa. Yeah. It's the Papa's kitchen, yeah, but I, just, I need to get another apron. I know it. Okay. Um, it's really sort of an exciting day. I was thinking about it. I'm a little busy today, and you are too, because it's the, for us, it is the day before yes. Thanksgiving. And I'm going to show you two recipes that we're going to be using in our Thanksgiving dinner, but I didn't get them done in time. Uh, you know, we only have right. so many uh, episodes. But you can use them for but Christmas, Christmas or New Year's, whenever. family coming over, all of that. And they're really good, they're easy, and they're brilliantly tasty. Although the cornbread one that I'm going to show you, I've never done before, and I'm sort of anxious to try it because it's a different approach to do doing cornbread dressing, which I love. Does it have an egg in it? No! <laughs> don't even start with the <laughs> eggs for me. No, please. No. Mm -mm, no. Don't do that. Okay. So anyhow, what I am doing, I'm doing two. I'm, I'm going to show them on this video f with you. I'm doing uh, Brussels sprouts, and I, I really like that. Uh, to me, that's a traditional thing for Thanksgiving, and I'll show you that. And I'm also going to do uh, cornbread dressing, and I'm doing it in the slow cooker. So I'll show you how I assemble all that. So if you want to get to the camera, uh, and sort of hone in on some of this. I'll show them what I'm doing here. Is that okay? Yes, you seem short. Well, I don't have my shoes on. I'm oh, in bare feet. I do. I'm in bare okay. feet, yeah. Or either that or I'm shrinking. shrinking. Yes. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? You know, my great grandmother um, lived to be 105, and the older she got, and of course I got taller, but I do believe, I, I mean it, she got shorter and shorter. She came up to here on me. I remember she had show, uh, sh measure out the block she had yeah, on the... Yeah, they had to put, my grandfather had yes. to build uh, wood blocks on the brake and, and, uh, and the, gas. the gas pedal of her car so that she, with the seat all the way forward, she still couldn't hit them with pedals. All right, let me talk about the Brussels sprouts first. All I'm going to be doing here today, because this will cook tomorrow on Thanksgiving, I'm going to take the ends off the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to, um, I mean, it's just very really simple. I, I cut the ends off uh, of my Brussels sprouts. I take the top layer off uh, from the um, Brussels sprouts, and then I cut them in half. And tomorrow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. These are going to bag tonight. But I'm going to take all the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to put a lot of oil on them, salt and pepper them, put them on a baking sheet probably with some parchment. And then I'm going to um, uh, put them in the oven and roast them. And I'll give you the times and all that in the, in the um, a recipe. The additional thing that I did already, just got it done, I want to tell you, I'm putting this, when I serve it, I'll put a sauce on it that is really a sort of unique. It is a quarter cup of, um, in a saucepan, I did a quarter cup of maple syrup, and when that got to boiling pretty rapidly, I put another, about a tablespoon and a half of unsalted butter in and melted that and got that all nice and creamy. Then uh, came along one tablespoon of heavy cream, one, this will get you, one tablespoon of soy sauce and about two teaspoons of sriracha. Sriracha, did I say that right? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so. And you mix that up until it begins to thicken a little bit and sort of when you pull the spoon out, it looks frappe. In other words, it sticks to the spoon and you can run your finger through the back of the spoon and, it's, and nothing's dripping off or anything. I did that already, that's a make ahead because all that will do is heat up in the microwave tomorrow and then I'll be able to easily um, pour that over those roast in the in the uh, serving dish over those roasted Brussels sprouts I'll add a little bit of cut up scallions a little bit of toasted sesame seeds and that is a meal right there I will take all of my Brussels sprouts that are cut in half uh, put them on the pan after I've oiled them really good and salt and peppered I'll roast them at 400 for about 20, 25 minutes or so till they've got a little char on them. Then they're done. I'll take that up to my sister-in-law's. That's where we're having Thanksgiving. You gotta coordinate these kinds of things. And I'll take this, I'll stick this in her microwave until it gets a little loose. I'll pour all that over that and that's the done dish. So I'll show that to you when it's done tomorrow. I'll give you some film from that. But that's one dish right there and that's how quick that was. As you can see, 
I'm sort of get, getting, get, getting a lot of things done. I've got some bread rising back here. Ooh, those are ready to go in. And so I'm going to stick those in and uh, take some bread up because this, and I made some white bread, which I never do, but uh, that's for um, sandwiches tomorrow night. To me, Turk, uh, Thanksgiving Day is all about the sandwiches. You better tell you, who, you know who to set it to. Oh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes. Alexa, please set a timer for here. Let me get my cheat sheet on my bread, which I always look at. 25. Alexa, 25 minutes on the timer. 25 minutes. There she goes. Yeah. All right. Now, in addition, like I said, what I'm doing is I'm also making uh, a cornbread um, stuffing. And I can take or leave uh, meat in the cornbread, uh, the stuffing, the dressing. But in this case, the recipe calls for, and it's a new recipe for me, it calls for some smoked sausage. So I got myself one of those rings of smoked sausage at the store. And I cut that down into small little quarter pieces or whatever. I'm going to get that going. And oh, Susan, would you plug that in? I can't no. even cook without this thing plugged in. No, um, and by the way, while she's doing that, there's my turkey. I am just got it out for a little bit today to make sure that mm -hmm. it's uh, going to be thawed. Then that'll go in the fridge. And tomorrow, by the way, I cheat. I've been, been cheating for the last three years. I love it. I'm not being paid, so. I order those Popeye Cajun chickens. 12, 13, 14 pounds is how they come. They're all seasoned, they're pre-cooked. I stick that thawed, uh, all the thawed in a roaster pan. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll cook it for about an hour and a half covered, and then I'll take that covered dish up to my sister-in-law's, and the last 30, 45 minutes, I'll put it in her oven, and uh, they, it comes with instructions and all that. I'll uncover it, Get a nice little char on that and we'll be ready to serve so that's sort of how i cheat with that thing it's very moist oh it's so it's moist good. i just love yes. it i love it so let me get this and what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to be making sure my uh, sausage for about five six minutes gets cooked and brown a little bit and once that's done i'm going to be putting in uh, a couple stalks of chopped celery and a couple of uh Stalks, they're not stalks. What, um, what are stalk of celery? Uh, stalk of celery, no, but no, the carrots. Oh, carrots, uh, <laughs> stick of carrots, stick of carrots, or whatever. I don't know what they're called, but two carrots and uh, chop those up. I've got one white onion, medium size, that I've chopped down. That's going to go in there. Some butter's going to go in there, and then once that's all cooked and got a nice flavor to it. This is all going to be added to my cornbread, and from that point forward, I'll uh, I'll show you uh, what we do to make it in my crock pot, and that's sort of what I'm going to end up with um, as far as um, that way you don't have to put something else in the oven. That's right, exactly. So again, I'm looking for something that. I don't have to go up and then monopolize my sister-in-law's uh, oven and not even really much of her stovetop. And I called her uh, this morning and I said, hey, can I just get my turkey in there 30 minutes? Before? Yep, she said, that'll work totally. So, because she's doing a few other dishes and she's actually even, because we have a large family gathering, she's doing uh, a um, turkey breast, a big turkey breast that she bought and um, I gave her a glaze for that. Um, and on that, I'll, I'll be honest with you, all I did was buy a glaze that I had probably a year now. <laughs> but from, yeah, from, from Williams and Sonoma. And uh, she's using that. Yeah, but it's, it never had been open, it's good. And um, so that's sort of how we're doing things. This, uh, this, uh, and we all sort of pick which ones we're going to be doing, as far as uh, which which dishes. And I still got yet today. I got to make two pecan pies, and because uh, I said I'd bring a couple of pecan pies, they like those. So I'm busy today, but I'm sort of excited because it is the holiday, and now it starts a season of holiday, and uh, I I can actually get a little excited now. It's been a long week of work and a few other things I've been dealing with. I'm getting ready to leave town 
and uh, I've got to speak for about a week somewhere. I'm going to relax and have fun with family and uh, eat and enjoy my food and all the different types of food that we're having. To me, nothing better than that. And I hope you have a great Thanksgiving as well. I'll come back here in a second to show you what we do to uh, keep uh, uh, this thing moving and getting it prepared. And in fact, what I'm doing, I'm actually preparing this today, all in the crock pot uh, container, you know, for what lack of a better term. And then I'm gonna put that in the fridge and pull it out in the morning first thing. And this is a slow cooker cornbread and it's gonna cook for about four hours. So I'm gonna get up about six o'clock and just turn the, I don't think I have a clock thing, no I don't, uh, turn the uh, slow cooker on. And by the time we leave here to go up there around noon, it will be more than done. And uh, I'll show you how we'll do all of that. So it's sort of a, uh, all coordinating here and getting it all done. So I'll come back to you in just a second when I add some of these veggies in here. Okay, so what I've done is I've put in uh, that onion chopped down, the carrots chopped down, the celery chopped down, and by the way, I forgot to mention, it's uh, two shallots as well. And I chopped those down, and they're in there. Along with butter. two tablespoons of butter, yeah. And all I'm gonna do is stir this for about five, six, seven minutes until those vegetables become soft. That's what I'm wanting to do. And so let's just keep every once in a while, remind me if you would, to stir here. And while that's going on, I had started my cornbread and I want that all crumbled. I made the cornbread yesterday and just left it on the stove to dry. And um, I'm just crumbling this off, getting this ready because we're going to add all of that stuff in that uh, cast iron, we're gonna put it in here and mix it all together along with some other ingredients that I'll show you in a second. And uh, it's a little different. Uh, I'm anxious to try this. I like cornbread dressing, like I said earlier. Uh, and doing it in the slow cooker has never been... Is it gonna have the spices that a dressing yeah, you, normally has? Yeah, you put has? the spices in. Yeah, we'll put some sage in there. And oh, other right. things. Yeah, and salt and pepper, of course. Yep, so here we go, you know. <laughs> Uh, just getting ready here. I'm going to pull that out in just a few moments and add it to my cornbread. I just wanted to show you, I had some, uh, uh, I bought at the store, because I haven't grown enough yet, some uh, sage. And I love this stuff. So beautiful. And I'm so glad, uh, Alexa, stop. Hang on, folks, I'll be right back. I need to check my bread. So I'm going to stop and come back to that in a second. Okay. Two minutes. It looks nice. Yeah. Open it up again. I, open it up again. Yeah. Alexa, give me two minutes on the timer. Wow, Pretty beautiful. nice, eh? And it makes the kitchen smell so good. Yeah. Let me show you. I'm gonna do two more minutes in there and then we'll be set. Uh, all you do is take the leaves off, I love this, and form it into a round ball kind of thing. And you just come along, use your knife, and just chop just like that. And I'll tell you what, when they include, in this case, they're including both thyme and um, sage and they call for it fresh and I might take a look here I might have to add a little bit of dry time uh, just because um, I um, didn't have an, as much time fresh as I thought I did but whatever there it is we're also going to use one cup of mayonnaise and I use Duke's one cup of sour cream and we're gonna mix that in there we're gonna use a couple of uh, beaten eggs <laughs> I'm doing the eggs right this time I'm going to use about two to three cups of low sodium chicken broth. And then we're going to assemble all that in this big bowl. And we're going to prepare our container here. And uh, also some salt and pepper, by the way. We're going to prepare our container. And then I'll show you how we assemble everything. So let me rearrange things so I can get a good camera shot of a few things here for you. And, uh, and then you'll see how we do everything here. My uh, vegetables that I've sauteed in my sausage are done. They're all soft. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in here into this bowl. And I want to mix all this together. So I'll get a big spoon here and um, put that all in there. And by the way, make sure you get all those drippings in there. That's a lot of the good stuff. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. I realize probably on camera but I'm not missing out on any of those drippings. Just not gonna happen. And um, let me get a spoon. All you wanna do is just get all this combined before we go to the next step. 
and I did um, while we were off camera just for a second I got the the uh, inside of my crock pot slow cooker I got it all ready prepared and I uh, lightly sprayed it around uh, the bottom and the sides uh, with um, some uh, spray cooking spray and then I'm just getting this all sort of mixed together and I've got quite a bit of cornbread here you know I'm supposed to do about eight cups I think I got more but hey no, it's all gonna be so. good maybe not maybe not typically you use one piece of, you know one cornbread. loaf of cornbread you know I did a nine inch cornbread and by the way, the other thing that goes in here besides the sage and the thyme as far as fresh is about a quarter cup of fresh chopped uh, parsley. And there is something, I, I'm sorry? And? Oh, and at the very end, you watch in the mixture of what we're putting together with the mayo and the sour cream, we put about a cup and a half of chopped pecans in there. And then this is all gonna cook. It's gonna be really, really good. I, there is something to me that is so un good and tasty about fresh, earthy type taste of parsley, sage, anything that's fresh. I just love the earthiness of it. And I think that's what has always appealed to me about using or looking even for recipes that use fresh um, ingredients um, as opposed to just your packets of seasoning, which I'm not putting them down, they're, they're good. But there's a freshness, uh, something unique about a freshness that I think is really outstanding. I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. We're going to take, in a smaller bowl, we're going to take, uh, get my cup measurer here. We're going to take a cup of, um, of mayonnaise and a cup of sour cream into this medium-sized bowl. Get this ready. Fortunately, I have several, mayonnaise. two or three more Duke mayonnaise in the pantry, so I'm not too worried here. I'm getting down to the low one on this one. And of course, Duke's is reserved as well for your turkey sandwich at the end of the day tomorrow while you're watching the football games or whatever might be on. Or a good movie. What was tradition for us was every year at Thanksgiving, Detroit Lions, which is a, not yeah. a very good team at all, would play Chicago Bears and on Thanksgiving Day and we all sat around up in Detroit and watched it. You probably have your own traditions. It'd be interesting. Comment. Tell me what traditions you enjoy at either Thanksgiving or certainly there are probably different traditions at Thanksgiving than there are for you at um, uh, Christmas. I mean, you know, Christmas is a little bit different feeling and a little bit different approach and emphasis. Also some uh, sour cream here. Cup I, of that. I didn't have traditions. You didn't? I'm traditionless. No, you're not. You've yeah, got, you're, no. You're, you're, when I was raised as a kid, we were in Nigeria. Well, you were in we Nigeria. Had no tradition. You didn't do anything? Well, not every Thanksgiving. Oh my, did you? Okay, well, there's the first question. Did you. Uh, did you, uh, Do you know, I don't remember have Thanksgiving? If, I don't remember if oh we my had goodness. a turkey. You need to call your mother and find out. I don't remember if she we had it. Remember, my mom though. won't remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, my brother will. Yeah, you're one, one of my brother. brothers who remembers. He remembers everything. dates. He remembers places. <laughs> he would remember. I don't think he's always right, but he does remember. You know, I think we did chickens or something. I don't. There's the sour cream. One cup of that. I know we didn't do dressing. That's probably why I don't care for it that much. But uh huh. Cornbread. Not even I like the traditional. That oh, I love cornbread yeah. dressing. Yeah. And of course, as I mentioned to many of you on an earlier video, in the South, it's very, very um, traditional to make up a big batch of uh, mac and cheese, too. I mean, you make mac and cheese every time you turn around with a family uh, down in the South. All right, now then, I've got my sage. Let me get my little scooper oh, I'll here. I'll tell you what we did. What's Traditionally, up? when we came home, mm -hmm. We used stovetop stuffing. Oh, did you? And my daughter-in-law just about died. Died. I bet she, she yeah, Joe. Oh, no, no, no. You can't <laughs> she, she makes a wonderful traditional uh, stuffing. Yes, she does. Yes. She's uh, she is the expert in the stuffing department. Yes. I'm telling you right now. As yep. far as I'm concerned. She's a great cook. <laughs> I'm going to do about three quarters of a uh, teaspoon of black pepper. And I don't have my grinder, I'm just doing it a little differently. I'm gonna do about a teaspoon and a half of salt. 
There's three quarter and another little bit here. There we go. And then I've got some parsley still to go in. I'm gonna take my scissors and grab about a quarter cup of that here. And by the way, if you chop this right, you don't pull leaves off just, and even like with the thyme, just take it and chop it down pretty fine. It just works wonders. And I, again, fold all that up. And I know you can't quite see it, but- Here we can. There you go. And uh, just begin to chop it in there. I'm doing better at pointing the camera at what's supposed to be in it. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. And I don't want people to bite into a big old piece, so I'm really pretty cautious about making sure everything is really brought down to a nice little chop. That's about a quarter hey, cup. Hey, did you I have to go to the grocery do. store today? A little bit more. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I was thinking you didn't. No, I did. <laughs> I only did four things though, so you'll be, oh, well, and I'll tell you made... what, I did five. You know what I did? I bought more um, of butter, uh, the Kerrygold, because they have it on sale right now up at our store. She told me yesterday, and I got, went up there and got some more. Uh, you don't find this kind of sale. It was two boxes, so four sticks for uh, $7, and that right now is a very good price, because typically I'm paying, have been paying over $5 for that stuff. Uh, a box and uh is there a lot left yeah there was they had a lot of you mean stock wise yeah yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they did so and you can free put that in the freezer and bring it up was the grocery store it. crowded you know it wasn't bad but i'll tell you what i loved about my group my store they had almost every register somebody was there Good. and so there was no waiting you just i mean wow uh, in most lines i the line i got into she was waiting for me, very friendly. They're always friendly up at my local Publix. Are they closed tomorrow? You know, I didn't even bother to look. Because huh. I'm not going <laughs> tomorrow. You don't think so? I'll tell you right now, I'm not doing it. <laughs> All righty. Okay, let me here, put some more things together and I'll be right back and show you what else we're going to put in here as we whisk things together. And I'm just down to the last little bit. I'm now going to add and just add at first two cups of uh, low sodium, this is chicken broth in here. There's one cup and there's two. And then you may find you'll need more, but you can add it if the, if the, uh, if the uh, cornbread feels too dry when you're mixing everything up. Also, I've got my two eggs um, beaten, lightly beaten here. Those are gonna go in. And then I've got everything else in that I can tell. And I'm now, I'm going to just take my whisk, and I probably need just a bit bigger bowl, but let's just get this going. And we're going to do like this and get this all incorporated. I should have maybe whisked a little bit before I put the broth in, but I'm just, again, it's all just getting it mixed around. It's all to do it. Hey, you're making up. those potatoes tomorrow, too. Oh, I'm making, yeah, potatoes. well, look at, see, I've got my list in front of me the whole time of what I'm doing. And on there, I'm doing potatoes. I'm doing uh, cranberry sauce. I already got that done. I'm, I'm doing the butter, uh, cornbread, uh, rather, stuffing right now. I'm doing pecan pies, two of them. My one sister-in-law is doing a sweet potato casserole and a salad. We always like, all of us like fresh greens. My daughter, uh, my sister-in-law, Sharon, up where we're going, she's making uh, an apple pie. I'm looking forward to that and a pumpkin kind of pie thing that their family has a tradition. When I get up there, I'm gonna do the gravy. Their daughter who's visiting is gonna be in charge of the rolls and the green beans. So there you go. Now the challenge is to not forget anything. Well, I've got, I'm keeping a list, I'm watching, <laughs> checking it twice, gonna find out who's My mom nice traditionally always left, left something, something in the fridge. Yeah, and we've done that before, it's not like. <laughs> it was usually the cranberry sauce. Yeah, I know, and I've yeah. just, I, it's like, check it off, check it off. Yeah. All right, here is my bowl of uh, cornbread and meat and everything. Ooh. Mm, I love that. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens? This gets poured in. Just like that. Looks it, like it's going to be oh, delicious. Oh, it's going to be delicious is right. I really can't wait to try this out. And I may, it may just get close to my daughter-in-law's great dressing. Oh, no. It may it's not. It's totally different. I know it. Now look at, here's what they call for, and what I'm going to do, I'm sort of riffing on a little uh, this a little bit. 
I'm mixing this up. It's going to go in my container, but that container is going to get cellophane on top and it's going to go into the uh, fridge overnight. And then in the morning when I take it out and put it in the crock pot, or the cooker rather, uh, I set it for four, four and a half hours, slow cook, low cook. But what they tell you to do in order to uh, get some of the moisture out, and this is really unique, is on top of the um, crock pot when you when you put it put it all together just before you turn things on, either put a towel across the top, not touching the the cornbread, but put a towel across the top or several um, sheets of paper towel, and that will absorb any of the excess moisture as this cooks because ultimately you're going to want this to be, after it's cooked, you're going to want it to be firm and you're going to want it, you'll know it's done when it's firm and when it's brown around the edges. And, uh, and then of course I always taste it to make sure everything is, is right. But look at that, see that's just pretty cool. And right now I don't feel like it needs any more um, no, uh, not at all. Uh, m liquid. But what I will do is if things have absorbed overnight, and I'll keep an eye on it when I get up in the morning and put it together, if I feel like it's a little dry, I may add a little bit of chicken broth in there and just stir it around before I turn things on. But that is it, and that is all done. I don't see any. No, it looks good. It looks good, doesn't it? Ooh, yeah. I'm really actually very excited. You need so, a spatula to get it all Oh out. yeah, I do. Here. I do. Uh, let me get it. I'll get it. So, let's see if I can really make a mess here, right? No, it won't make a mess. No. And again, it's just getting it all ready and getting it assembled and then it cooks and hey, easy enough and it should taste good, I would think. Uh, they call for a six quart crock pot slow cooker. I think this is an eight to be perfectly honest. But it's the one I have, and I only hardly ever use it when uh, the tribe of many are down here. Well, they and bought it, to, and then they outgrew and, 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 it. Oh, yeah. So they, they left it. They left it. That's what <laughs> happened, yeah. So look, at I'm putting that all like that, and that's how that's going to cook. And again, uh, in the morning, and so I won't have to get up and turn a camera on, I'm just let me show you what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take several of these, like this, with my lid. Here's my lid and it's just going to go across the top. Here we go, and I'll, I'll do it probably two or three ply. But it's going to go across the top, not getting down into the mixture, and that's going to absorb that, that thing, That'll and we're going to be all set. Isn't that good? Yeah. So okay. tomorrow I'll show you the finished product. Yes. But those are my two uh, side dishes that I'm taking up uh, along with the mashed potatoes, and you've seen that already. Yeah. And we're close to Thanksgiving. So anyhow, See you tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. I'll finish up this little video for you, show you what we're eating, and uh, you'll get a good glimpse into what we're doing. <laughs> hey, dummy me again. <laughs> I didn't, I know it. I didn't, for, I, I forgot, I didn't have it ready and I forgot uh, a cup and a half of pecans. So I pulled it out of the fridge real quick. I'm going to put them on top here and then I'm going to stir them in. And that's all I'm going to do. I've got them right here. I've got some good pecans from York. That's who I buy my pecans from. Typically, I had some of these. Left over. Oh, wonderful, right like that. That's great. And then just stir it in. And again, nothing bad here. It's just all going to work. At least it wasn't an egg. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't no, let you it can't, go. <laughs> you can't let that go. And for those of you that don't know what we're talking about, check out the uh, pot pie. You have to watch the pot pie one to yeah. see where the egg went, or oh supposed to go. Sake. That was so <laughs> ridiculous. And I still blame you. I know you do, but it was not my fault at all. By the way, you wouldn't have to put pecans in here if you didn't want to, but I like them, and we're just gonna, if somebody doesn't like it, they don't have to eat this. That's how I like it. Don't tell them. Don't, don't tell, tell them don't tell anything them. that's in it. That's nope. the secret. That's the secret. It is the secret. If they ask, well, what's in it? Yeah, just say, well, well you don't try don't it. Try tell me what's know what in you it. Think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. All right, there we go. Just fix my problem real quick. And uh, That was easy. No, that was I hope easy. all your problems were. Oh, I wish they were. <laughs> <laughs>